There's a popular maxim in academic circles that says that no one ever graduated from a library, but no one ever graduated without one either. And the library is at the core of a medical education process, particularly one focused on problem-based learning and encouraging lifelong learning in our students. We have always prided ourselves here in the medical library and the LRC with being very uh, attuned to our customers and providing friendly customer service. In fact, Stephen Ellis, our circulation manager, is frequently applauded by our students for his attitude and the way he greets them when they come in the door of the library. One of his favorite phrases is, it's a great day to learn medicine. Well, to me, a fully sourced library will be what people with the expertise of Jan LeBays and her wonderful staff feel are appropriate here. Uh, but it's going to include reading material, it's going to include uh, electronic material, it's going to include cases, there are files so people can study those. All of those things that uh, assist a student in learning what they need to do to take care of patients uh, in the future uh, will be important. And there are four things that frequently come up. The first thing is that they would like longer hours in the library. Another thing that comes up is that they would like more study rooms. They would like more electronic resources that they can access from here in the building or from home or from any place in the state that they go to maybe do their preceptor work. And they would like to have more copy and print allotments. Now we are very diligent and we keep an ongoing wish list of all of the things that the students have suggested. Unfortunately, the bottom line for us is that all of those things mean more money, and that is an issue always. It's especially important now, though, because we are facing nationally an economic crisis. At the state level, we're looking at funding cuts, and we're looking at cuts here on the campus as well. There just isn't anything left over to add anything new right now. We're doing well just to maintain what we currently do and not have to cut anything. And that's why it's so important to me and to our faculty and staff and all of the library users that we have library friends like the Skeltons who are willing to help us out, who are interested in the work we do and support us. Um, I think it's probably at a high time of need for Mercer Medical School. Uh, I know that state funding, which has been, which has been and is critical to the school, has been impacted by the economy. So I'm hoping what uh, I do here and what I hope others will do with me uh, will help the medical school at a critical time uh, in its history. Given the nature of problem-based learning, our students are avid library users. And I like to think that translates into the fact that our graduates, our alumni, become some of the foremost lifelong learners in this country. I know within the healthcare community that we see people who are continuing in their education long, long after they have left academia. If you're gonna be a problem-based learning school, you've got to have the resources to back that up. So you've got to have enough material so that the students in whatever part of their education can find those resources that support them as they go through a problem-based learning curriculum. No medical school can exist without an adequate library. We have a more than adequate library. I would like to see my gift and what others I hope will do to make this million dollar endowment come to pass, bring even more gifts to the medical school so that we can have a great library. That's what we need at Mercer Medical School, a great library for a great school.